It's beef rib time, also known as a dinosaur rib. We're gonna cook these a little bit hotter, put them on the front of the pit, start them out at 275, make it the way up to about 315. Always put the big bone to the fire to start. So it's time to check on the beef ribs. Pretty hard to mess up, to tell you the truth. Uh, there's a lot of marbling in them, a lot of fat in them. So you wanna cook them a little bit hotter, render down that fat. Um, but you're gonna have a hard time messing them up. Generally take about eight hours to cook. So this beef rib right here, this looks like it's about six hours in. You can tell the bark's forming really good. Now we just wanna put some moisture on the outside of it. So we're gonna spritz with apple cider vinegar and let it keep cooking. One tip on the beef ribs, if you see it start to pull back in a certain area, you're gonna angle that away from the fire so that the, the fire and the heat doesn't directly hit that. Uh, you know, it'll help with the pullback on the rib so you don't lose as much. So we are exactly eight hours in. We're gonna check these beef ribs and see if they're done. Can already tell they're really, really soft. There's a good chance these things are gonna be done. I'm gonna bring them over to the table and we'll check them out with the probe. So very similar to the briskets. You're gonna take your cheap little ice pick, little $2 probe, and what you're looking for is just a smooth pull right through the meat. So on the bottom of these beef ribs, there's gonna be a membrane. It's a membrane right there. You wanna poke through the middle of the bones and you're looking for no resistance on that membrane. If there is a little bit of resistance, it needs to go back on. That right there is no resistance, soft on all the sides. It's ready to eat. 